Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles, your go-to channel for fascinating insights and deep dives into the most intriguing topics of the Bible. Today, we're going to explore a compelling question. Who is the most powerful man in the Bible after God? The Bible is filled with remarkable individuals whose lives and actions have left an indelible mark on history and faith. From prophets to kings, each has played a significant role in the divine narrative. But when it comes to sheer power, wisdom, and influence, one figure stands out among the rest. And that man is King Solomon. So, let's embark on this journey to discover why Solomon is often considered the most powerful man in the Bible after God. Introduction to Solomon King Solomon was the son of King David and Bathsheba. He was the third king of Israel and is most famous for his wisdom, wealth, and building projects, especially the magnificent temple in Jerusalem. His reign marked the height of Israel's power and prosperity. Solomon's Wisdom Solomon's wisdom is legendary and is perhaps the most well-known aspect of his reign. The Bible tells us that Solomon asked God for wisdom instead of riches or long life, and God granted him unparalleled wisdom as well as wealth and honor. This divine gift allowed Solomon to become a fair and insightful ruler. One of the most famous stories demonstrating Solomon's wisdom is the judgment of the two women who claim to be the mother of a baby. Solomon proposed to cut the baby in half and give each woman a half. The true mother immediately offered to give up her claim to save the child's life, revealing her genuine love and thus identifying herself as the real mother. This story is not just a testament to Solomon's wisdom but also to his deep understanding of human nature and justice. His ability to solve difficult problems and make fair decisions earned him respect and admiration from his subjects and from foreign leaders. Solomon's Wealth Solomon's wealth was extraordinary. He built a prosperous and powerful kingdom, with extensive trade networks that brought in riches from all over the ancient world. The Bible describes Solomon's wealth in great detail, highlighting his vast collections of gold, silver, and precious stones, as well as his luxurious lifestyle. One of the sources of his wealth was his control over key trade routes. He established alliances with neighboring nations, including Egypt and Tyre, which helped secure his kingdom's economic success. Solomon's annual income in gold alone is recorded as 666 talents, which is an enormous amount. Solomon used his wealth to build numerous structures, including his own palace and the famous temple in Jerusalem. This temple, known as Solomon's Temple, was an architectural marvel of its time and a central place of worship for the Israelites. Solomon's Building Projects Solomon was not just a wise and wealthy king, he was also a great builder. His most significant project was the temple in Jerusalem, which became the central place of worship for the Israelites. The construction of the temple took seven years and was a monumental task involving thousands of workers and immense resources. The temple was built using the finest materials, including cedar wood from Lebanon, gold, silver, and precious stones. It housed the Ark of the Covenant and became the spiritual heart of Israel. In addition to the temple, Solomon built a grand palace for himself, which took 13 years to complete. He also constructed cities, fortresses, and infrastructure to support his kingdom's growth and prosperity. His building projects not only demonstrated his wealth and power but also his commitment to strengthening and beautifying his kingdom. Solomon's Influence and Diplomacy Solomon's influence extended far beyond the borders of Israel. His wisdom and wealth attracted visitors from distant lands, including the Queen of Sheba, who came to test Solomon with hard questions. Impressed by his wisdom and the splendor of his court, she acknowledged his greatness and praised the God of Israel. Solomon's diplomatic skills were also noteworthy. He established strong political and trade alliances with other nations, which helped secure peace and stability for his kingdom. These alliances were often cemented through marriages to foreign princesses, which, while politically advantageous, eventually led to his spiritual downfall. Solomon's Spiritual Life Despite his many achievements, Solomon's spiritual life was complex and ultimately tragic. He started his reign with a deep reverence for God, demonstrated by his humble request for wisdom and his dedication to building the temple. However, as his reign progressed, Solomon's many marriages to foreign women led him to stray from his faith. These wives brought their gods and religious practices into Israel, and Solomon began to build altars and high places for these deities. This idolatry angered God and led to the eventual division of the kingdom after Solomon's death. Solomon's writings, including Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon, reflect his wisdom and his reflections on life's complexities. Ecclesiastes, in particular, shows a more introspective and philosophical side of Solomon, contemplating the meaning of life and the pursuit of happiness. Legacy of Solomon Solomon's legacy is a mixture of greatness and cautionary tales. 
His wisdom, wealth, and achievements made him a legendary figure, but his spiritual failures serve as a warning about the dangers of straying from one's faith. Solomon's story is a reminder that even the wisest and most powerful among us are vulnerable to human weaknesses. Solomon's impact on Israel and the broader biblical narrative is undeniable. His reign brought a period of unprecedented peace and prosperity, and his contributions to wisdom literature continue to inspire and teach millions of people around the world. Conclusion So, why is Solomon considered the most powerful man in the Bible after God? His unparalleled wisdom, immense wealth, and grand building projects certainly set him apart. His influence extended far and wide, and his diplomatic skills secured his kingdom's prosperity. However, his story also reminds us of the importance of staying true to our faith and the consequences of allowing worldly influences to lead us astray. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of King Solomon's life and legacy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more fascinating biblical insights from Celestial Chronicles. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on Solomon's story and let us know which biblical figure you'd like us to explore next. Until next time, may your journey through the scriptures be enlightening and inspiring.